In 1982, scientist Dan Schechtman made a discovery that would shake the foundations of crystallography when he observed a pattern that shouldn't have existed according to the laws of nature. He found crystals with fivefold symmetry, something that was thought to be mathematically impossible in crystalline structures. Unlike regular crystals that have atoms arranged in perfectly repeating patterns, quasi-crystals follow mathematical rules but never exactly repeat their structure. This discovery was so controversial well, that Schechtman was ridiculed by the scientific community, with double Nobel laureate Linus Pauling stating that there are no quasi-crystals, only quasi-scientists. The existence of quasi-crystals challenged our fundamental understanding of matter and forced scientists to redefine what makes a crystal. Scientists later discovered that quasi-crystals can actually occur in nature, finding them in meteorites that formed billions of years ago. These unique structures have found practical applications in non-stick coatings, surgical tools, and LED technology due to their unusual properties. Remarkably, medieval Islamic artists had created patterns with the same mathematical properties as quasi-crystals centuries before their scientific discovery. Today, quasi-crystals continue to inspire new discoveries in materials science, proving that sometimes the most revolutionary findings come from challenging established scientific beliefs.